So I just bought a five comic book lot off of a whatnot seller that was selling out of their storage unit, but you're not gonna believe what's in here. And I only paid $14. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to today's video. So like I said, I just picked up a small comic book lot. There's only five books in here, but one of these books is pretty awesome. And like I mentioned, I only paid $14 for these. So that was a pretty awesome deal. So I do a lot of shopping over on Whatnot, the live stream app where you can bid on items and purchase them right from your home. It's a fun little app. It gets a little addictive. I do sell on there once in a while, uh, but I do go there and actually buy quite a bit on whatnot, I find a lot of really good deals. And I've noticed lately that there is a trend of these sellers that are selling right out of their storage units and they're really popular. So I went to this sale. Uh, the guy was based out of California and he was selling right out of a storage unit. He would pull a random item, post it up for bid. People were going nuts. There was like a hundred people in the live stream and he started pulling out comic books. And I'm like, all right, let's see what we can find, you know? And I feel like a lot of people there weren't into comics at all. Um, there was also toys and video games, but people were sleeping on that stuff. People were like bidding on jewelry and clothing. I feel like the uh, the audience wasn't really the, the vintage and collectible people, like the toys and comics and video game people. So I think I kind of lucked out. So they were pulling comic books and he was doing five uh, comic lots. So he'd lay five comics on the table. He'd do a $1 start and, uh, you know, whatever they sold for is what they sold for. So I did that. He was going through. I didn't really see anything too crazy, but then he pulled out this one book. I'm about to show you in just a minute. He pulled this book out and I'm like, oh man, I got a bid on this, especially for $1 start. And it ended up bidding up to $14 and that's what I got it for. So there was like other people there buying uh, the comic books, but I don't feel like they knew what they were really looking at. They were just buying the comics, probably thinking, you know, oh, I can buy them for, you know, a dollar or two a piece and I can resell them. Uh, because a lot of people think that comic books are worth a whole lot of money, uh, not knowing that only about, you know, 40%, maybe less of all comic books printed are actually worth money. Um, you know, it's got to have some kind of significance. It's got to have um, good condition. And, you know, there's a lot that go into selling comics, which people that aren't comic collectors don't really understand. How can you not know that Spider-Man first appeared in 1962's classic Amazing Fantasy number 15? But that's a whole nother video. All right. So I was over on the Whatnot stream. I bought this item. I got five comic books and I got a killer deal. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the comics that I picked up. Uh, we're going to unbox them together. I also wanted to show you this one item that I picked up as well. I ended up getting a really cool retro video game that is complete in packaging for an incredible deal. Let's take a look at that one real quick. So I ended up grabbing this Donkey Kong Classics. <laughs> complete in box. It's got the manual. It's got the cartridge in there, all the um, inserts. The box is in okay shape. I mean, it's got, you know, some, it's got a little bit of roughness going on, but really, really cool. Classic video game here for the NES console, classic Nintendo here. And I, I threw it in this little protective packaging uh, because I have a bunch of these because I've been going crazy with video games lately, as you see. Uh, but uh, really cool to get this. I got this one for 25 bucks. That was a really good deal. Uh, 25 is a steal. Uh, normally these sell for probably around 40 to 50 bucks uh, in this condition, uh, complete in box Donkey Kong Classics. Uh, so really, really excited about that. But now let's get to the comic books because that's what you're all here for. Um, let's see if I can do this one-handed. If not, I might have to unpackage these. Uh, or at least cut the tape. And yeah, let me go ahead and cut the tape and then we'll see what's in here. So I cut the tape here and these are actually really cool. I've never seen these. They're like bubble bags, um, which are really nice and convenient. I'll have to invest in some of those. So here we go. Looks like we got a bunch of Wolverine books. 
What is that one? Oh, I thought that was something else for a second. All right, let me see if I can take these out. All right, let me pull these out. I can't do this one-handed. All right, so I got the books out of the bag here. Uh, I believe they're all Wolverine. Uh, he was just pulling out books. He would throw a couple on the table and he would, uh, you know, run it at one dollar. And people were buying them. I think they were selling for around, you know, one to two dollars a piece. So for the bundles, people were paying like five to ten dollars. Uh, I bid this one up a little bit, got it to fourteen dollars where uh, I was the winner and I was able to to win that auction. Nobody was really going crazy for the comics. I feel like nobody really knew what they were looking at. Uh, so let's take a look at what's here. Wolverine number 16, um, really nothing crazy, pretty much a dollar bin book. Uh, Wolverine issue 32. I mean, these are all in kind of rough shape, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, they're not horrible. Uh, they could be cleaned and pressed for sure. I mean, that one's actually a pretty cool cover. Uh, Wolverine 28 Lazarus Project. This one's got like some serious like sun fading and some tanning on there. Um, but whatever, you know. Um, let's see, what is that? Three comics. Three, four, five. Oh, you know what? I think there's I think there's six comics here. All right, we'll take a look here in just a minute. Um, Wolverine issue number four. Always like that back cover. Really awesome. Wolverine number four. And Wolverine 14. And then here's the book that I saw in the lot. Oh, man. This thing. Look at this. Look at the condition of this thing. This is going to need a serious clean and press. But you know what? It's really not too bad. There's not that many color breaks and uh, spine ticks. Huh, you know what? I'm actually really surprised here. This isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Honestly, I thought it was going to be pretty low grade, um, but I'm pleasantly surprised. So that was the big book. Let's see, what else is in there? Um, <laughs> Nomad number four. I guess uh, maybe he just threw this in. Comic Town, Citrus Heights, California. Anybody know where that is? Or if that's still a comic book shop, let me know down in the comments. All right, let's take a look at this Wolverine book here. There ended up being seven comics total. I paid $14, so I basically paid $2 per comic, even though, you know, these books really aren't worth $2. So I'm just going to say I bought this for $14. That's the way I'm going to look at this purchase. Um, but, you know, we took a little look here. The spine is not bad. Um, uh, it's got some tanning around the edges here. Yeah. It's definitely not the highest of grades, but for 14 bucks, um, after I press this, give it a nice little cleaning, I think it's going to look pretty good. Let me know down in the comments, would you have bid $14 on this book here? I mean, I definitely would all day long. Wolverine number one, first appearance of Patch, at, you know, Wolverine as Patch, um, first ongoing series. I mean, just a really awesome book here. And I'm really pleasantly surprised at the condition, considering it's not bagged and boarded. It came out of a storage unit in California and made its made its way all the way to New Jersey. So that was pretty awesome. Um, you know, I think that's a great deal. I definitely am going to keep my eye out for these, like, whatnot um, storage unit sales. Because I feel like you might be able to find hidden gems and they might go for, you know, way too cheap. Um, you know, if, if the right person isn't looking at it, uh, if you don't know what you're buying, then, you know, it could just sell really cheap and you could be missing out on some deals. So I'm really excited that I found that one. And to be honest, finding this Donkey Kong CIB complete in box for only 25 bucks, that was a really awesome deal as well. Um, you know, I think this is a cool little find. Uh, like I said, these storage unit, um, whatnot sales are just getting really popular and there's always hundreds of people in the live streams. And, uh, I feel like a lot of people are looking for, you know, other stuff like, like I said before, like jewelry and clothing and, you know, Nike sneakers and just random stuff like that. 
I'm not sure if, uh, you know, all the comic book and video game and, and vintage toy people are going to these uh, storage unit sales, but who knows? Maybe they are. Maybe I just lucked out on a really cool stream. All right, so that's the video. Not too bad, right? 14 bucks for a Wolverine number one. I think that was a really good deal. I'm definitely going to keep my eye out for these, uh, you know, whatnot streams with these uh, storage unit sales because I feel like you could definitely find some hidden gems uh, in these streams and you might be able to get some pretty insane deals like I did today. Let me know down in the comments, what do you think about my purchase? Um, you know, I'm pretty excited about it, uh, especially the Wolverine and the Donkey Kong CIB uh, complete in box video game. That was really, really cool. So smoking deals today. Really excited. Happy to show them off to all of you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell so you can see when I upload my next video. And as always, folks, I'll see you on the next one.